This is Mike from TabariOutpost.com. In this Photoshop Tips session, I'm going to show you how to scale your comic book pages down to your selected trim size for publishing. Now let's pull up a finished page here. Now this page is still in Photoshop document form, and I still have my layers intact. The first thing I want to do is I want to do a flattened image to get all these layers combined. This will help reduce the file size. And then I want to save this file as a PDF. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. I'm going to keep the name of page 25. And I'm going to select PDF. I'm going to select an image quality of medium high. And now we have a page 25 PDF. Now as you can see, the sheet is 8.5 by 11 and I want to reduce the overall image down to the 8 by 10 size that we selected. So the first thing I want to do is go up to image and resize this image and I want to adjust it in the longest direction which is height. Now because these layers are, these are linked the width will also adjust once I adjust the height. So let's select 10 and you notice the width has now gone down to below 8, it's 7.727. Just hit OK. So now our height is adjusted, but our width is short. So we want to change that. So let's go up to Image, Resize, and select Canvas Size this time. Now Canvas Size will adjust independently adjust the width or height without affecting the other. So we're going to change our width to 8 and hit OK. So now our page just got wider. So now we have our 8 by 10 dimensions. The next thing I want to do is I want to adjust the location of the whole image on the page because depending on whether the page is on the left side or right side of the book, um, you want a, a buffer area for your binding and then you want to keep every page the same uh, dimensions away from the edges so there's consistency when you flip from page to page. Now this particular page is on the on, on a right size right side of an open book and I like to keep about a half inch away from the edge and uh, at least a quarter inch from the top but my critical dimension is uh, this right edge so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my, uh, my grid. And if you're using regular Photoshop, you can uh, use your guides and pull them over to about a half inch. Now each of these squares is a quarter inch, and you can see I'm a little over. So I want to move this over a little bit. So um, I'm going to just quickly turn off the grid. I'm going to select the entire image here. And now I'm going to turn back my grid uh, on. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so I can see. Now the I just want to get this corner here to the half inch uh, dimension from the page. So let's just use our arrow keys and just kind of nudge it over pixel by pixel. So that's going to be my, my link point here. So I've got uh, the top border is a quarter inch from the top, and the right edge is two squares, which is a half inch away from the edge. Now let's look at here at the bottom. I'm slightly over the half inch here, so or the quarter inch from the bottom border. So what I want to do is I want to uh, scale this drawing just slightly so I can... Uh, have it exactly the dimensions I want. So all you need to do for that is select the Move tool, and you'll get these little uh, uh, grab points. And I just want to go up here and grab, and then just slightly pull it in. To just adjust it to that height move it over a little bit and see where we're at. And you can see now that um, by grabbing and kind of just scaling the drawing down just slightly, we're within our 
edge of our borders. So I've got, again, I've got a quarter inch at top and bottom, a half inch on the right side, and then I've got a larger buffer zone for the binding. Because you don't want, you know, you don't, you don't, you need a buffer there because you don't want this left edge to be, to get stuck in the gutter of the book. So let's go ahead and uh, turn off the marquee there. Let's go ahead and turn off our grid. And then we're going to save this file. So now we've got a final, this page is ready to go. It's, um, it's perfectly formatted. And we'll go through and do every page in the book the same way. Again, keeping in mind which page is on the left and which page is on the right because you, you, know, you want to you know, make sure that as you flip through the book, you know, every page is printed front and back. And you want to make sure uh, that the book lays out and you can turn the page and everything has the same dimensions away from the edge. So thank you for watching this comic book Photoshop tutorial. For information on my ebook, How to Create and Publish Your Own Comic Book, for information on Spectre Comics, or more Photoshop comic book video tips, visit tabarioutpost.com.